to the courts now and what is shaking up to be a historic hearing at the U.S. Supreme Court. It centers around the request of a man on death row convicted of killing a Corpus Christi convenience store clerk. John Henry Ramirez was sentenced to death for the murder of convenience store clerk Pablo Castro in 2004. Castro was stabbed to death during a robbery that netted Ramirez and two accomplices just a dollar and 25 cents. Ramirez was supposed to be executed for that crime last month, but the Supreme Court granted him a stay. On November 9th, Supreme Court justices will hear arguments from Ramirez's attorneys. They claim the state violated his right to exercise his religious beliefs when they said his spiritual advisor could not be in the execution chamber when the death sentence was carried out. Our Seth Kovar reports the ruling could set a precedent in such cases across the country. John Henry Ramirez slashed Pablo Castro's throat and stabbed him more than two dozen times as the convenience store clerk was closing up for the nights. That's not disputed. What is is whether or not Ramirez can have his pastor by his side holding his hand and praying with him as he's put to death. This is a case of incredible national importance. But here in the coastal bend, one of Pablo Castro's family members tells me they're frustrated that the case has delayed justice for their loved one. You may remember Ramirez's execution last month was stopped just before it was set to happen so the Supreme Court could weigh in. Ramirez's lawyer, Seth Kretzer, says the blame shouldn't be on his religious freedom fights, but on the prison policies at the root of it. I certainly understand their frustration, but again, it's not Mr. Ramirez who has imposed these restrictions on the spiritual advisor. It is the state of Texas that has done this. The Texas Attorney General's office doesn't comment on pending litigation, but court documents already filed say the state will argue a pastor at Ramirez's side would endanger his safety and the safety of prison staff members. Kretzer doesn't buy it. I do not believe they can show you a single example where any pastor has ever interrupted any death penalty proceeding. Castro's family has pointed out in court filings that he didn't get to have his pastor by his side when he died, so why should his killer? But there are other family members eager to see the death sentence carried out, regardless of what the Supreme Court decides. Kretzer is confident the justices will side with him. This is quite simply whether or not the state has to comply with laws protecting religious freedoms at the point in time that they put someone to death. Now, while the Supreme Court will hear arguments from the state and Kretzer next month, it could be many more months before they make a ruling. But when they do, it could set the standard for who's allowed in death chambers across the country and what they can do from that point forward. Back to you.